I suppose you could say it's a, uh, a game of two halves. So the underlying core business has has done done well. You would have seen the the underlying EBITDA is actually 390 million, which is up from 302 million last year. But obviously with the restrictions, and we are, you know, in our view, there are probable restrictions to come. There are um, in asset impairment write downs. So not all of the carrying values of our assets um, hold their value when when you're looking at those predictions. Yeah, could you just tell us a little bit more about that? Because obviously uh, that's going to affect the guidance uh, running forward here. Why the write down? Why required? And what are you going to book? So um, tangible asset impairments are uh, just a bit over 300 million in the in the 12 months, and uh, you know that's predicated on a, a a couple of months lockdown in FY22. So sales declines. If you look at our um, critical judgments and estimates of, uh, of a minus 15% decline in year one, and then um, smaller declines going forward. Uh, there's gross margin declines as well. Uh, it's not just um, it's not just lockdowns and restrictions that we're factoring in. There's clearly a change in consumer behavior, a move from bricks to clicks. It, it just is what it is. Everyone knows that. There's obviously more um, third party brand direct to consumer as well that, that retailers need to compete with. So all in the rounds that contributes to, to forecast whereby some of our, our assets are, are, written down, are written down based on the forecast. I'm curious why you say that there are probable restrictions to come. Your uh, outlook reads a little bit more downbeat than many of the ones we've read this morning. And I'm just curious what is what gives you that that reason to be so downbeat? Well, don't forget, we were shut down with about eight hours notice uh, last Christmas um, for that Christmas Christmas week. I think. Um, if you can predict what the government are going to do next, then you're um, clearly better at uh, understanding them than me. So, you know, the, the government hasn't really done um, a coherent, cogent uh, policy on, on restrictions. Um, taking retail, for instance, retail has, has, has been locked down, has suffered probably nearly as much as anyone else uh, alongside hospitality. And it, it's very easy for the government to with a sweep of a pen shut down retail and hospitality if um, cases climb in the winter which the reality is they will do so we hope we're wrong we really do but we, we we're conservative our forecasting is conservative and um, our stakeholders uh, appreciate us being conservative we're we're very much a business that looks medium and long term we, we don't look for short term um, headlines and targets and stuff so in our view it is conservative to um, consider further restrictions.